here with Corey Day after that high limit race. Came from the B main tonight. Ended up, you won it, right? Do I remember that right? Gosh, I bumped my head too many times in my life so far. Uh, you salvaged that. P8 in the A main. Keep a good points night to go on and obviously keep that fourth place spot in the standings. What are your thoughts after that one? Uh, yeah, I wish we uh, would have got the hot lap. We lost the motor or something happened with the motor. We just opted to change it before qualifying. So didn't get any hot laps and um, just, uh, you know, didn't get to work on our car. And I didn't really know where to run for, for qualifying. So didn't qualify good. And, uh, you know, then ended up in the first heat and just was, you know, behind the A ball all night. So uh, got good laps in the B main. And, uh, you know, was able to win that. So started 21st, I think. And um, just, yeah, I mean, kind of left me a top lane there. And I was able to make, make a lot of moves around the top of three and four and, and one and two there until it went away a little bit off two. And it was uh, it was just too far around. The bottom was just too good. So, um, yeah, good to – glad to salvage the top ten after, uh, you know, how our night started for sure. How many times have you been here? Uh, never. First time. That was your first time. Okay. I was going to ask if you've seen the bottom that good here. I think it's the best I've seen that five times or so, but how has the engine shortage affected you guys? Have you been hit with any troubles finding motors, finding parts like that? No, luckily, you know, Paul Kiss, our engine builder, is, uh, you know, super on top of on top of all that and the shortages, and uh, he's able to, to keep, you know, us, us in front of the line when we need stuff. So uh, hats off to him and uh, Charlie Garrett as well. Just, you know, those are our two engine builders that, uh, you know, built, built some badass pieces that I'm, I'm fortunate to drive. You took off in uh, when won an asphalt late model race, is that right? Take me through what it was like, you know, being so good in that car, and do you have any future in asphalt racing? Uh, yeah, I think there's definitely a future for me in asphalt racing. It was, uh, you know, not not a I don't think there's a better team out there than, than Junior Motorsports to, to go race for. So, um, yeah, just blessed to have that opportunity to, to go do that in such a such a nice piece, and um, you know, glad we could uh, have some success with it too. And obviously, regardless, you'll be in this 14 car the rest of the year uh, with the High Limit Series, and you're running in that top five category for points that get that charter system and in. in keep your charter system, keep your spot there. How important was it to get off to a start like that in a national series when you're kind of embarking on this for the first time in your career? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Luckily, like, I, like I've talked about, we went to a lot of places last month that were, you know, short tracks and right up my alley. So um, just kind of kind of maintain through the through the places like Golden Isle and Texas Motor Speedway and, uh, you know, places we weren't too stellar at. And, um, you know, I think that we're, uh, we're one of the best, best cars on the short places. And, uh, you know, even at a place like this, I feel if I could have started on the top five tonight, we would have had a you know, great shot to win. So, um, just, uh, glad we're, glad we're going to another shorter place tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, just super crucial to, to have top 10 runs at least. I mean, uh, you know, you got a guy like Brad that I don't think has finished outside of the top 10 once this year. And, uh, you know, Sunshine had a stellar start and had a, you know, a couple, a couple tough races here recently, but. And then you got Brent Marks that man, he hasn't he don't he hasn't won, but he is not outside of the top five, it seems like, for these past ten nights. So um, just uh, yeah, three guys right there that are that are on their game every night and uh, we're just trying our best uh, to be right there with them. What's it like to actually be right there with all those guys and obviously you've watched them and how many races they've won over the last few years? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Um, you know, we're just kinda out here feeling it out this year. Not necessarily, you know, the charter is our, our end goal, but um, you know, just out here to to figure out these new places and, and win races at the end of the day. That's, uh, you know, that's the fun part about it. So um, that's kind of our focus this year. Not really focusing on the points too much. You know, the charter is always in the back of our mind, but uh, just trying to win some races.